Well, obviously, for ethical reasons and journalism, Chris will not be covering this story as he has now become part of the story. I want to show you some video that our cameras got this morning. Uh, this was during the arrest of, we believe it is, um, uh, just lost Cameron track. Cameron Shea, I believe. Yeah, Cameron Shea this morning in Kirkland. Uh, he is one of the four individuals. He was the individual who was here in Western Washington this morning as part of this. And let me tell you what this charge is about. Let's show you a picture of this letter. This is a copy of the letter that was sent to uh, our own investigator, Chris Ingalls, on this. Obviously, it is designed to threaten and intimidate. Other journalists also receive other types of letters elsewhere in the country, as did members of the Anti-Defamation League. So if we come back out here, let me bring in uh, Chris Ingalls right now. Um, obviously, you continued on here. Yeah. But how intimidating was this? Well, I took the letter as a serious threat. I mean, I've been studying Adam Waffen now for uh, six months. You know, they've been training up in the Washington wilderness with firearms. They go to an abandoned building and they do room to room kills, you know. So they not only talk about uh, striking back in these court documents, uh, I take it as they did strike back or threatened to strike back in the letter that they sent to my house about a month ago. You've been investigating them for a number of months. Yeah. You've done a number of stories. Who right. are these guys, for those who might not know? Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't have any real deep background on them because they are very mysterious people. Why are they so filled with hate? I mean, they're usually uh, men in their 20s. There's maybe a half dozen or a dozen here in Washington State. Uh, and for some reason, uh, you know, they believe that it, their job should be to trigger this race war. Uh, and that's what they're preparing for. They say they're arming, arming themselves for a coming race war. Where do you think this goes from here? Well, I think this, there's a charge, one charge filed today, but the feds seem to tell us that there's more charges coming in this right. case. So I'm just interested to hear what else could be out there. Because it mean, really seems like this is just sort of the first. They said this is a start. Yeah, right. And so they've made arrests across the country. Uh, clearly, these people have been threatening a lot of people, not just me. Um, but I am very curious to see what is ahead and whether they had any specific plans to carry some of these threats out. The other arrests were carried out in Phoenix. Central Florida and Houston. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, Houston was the gathering place for uh, Adam Waffen. They s uh, had a had an arrest of a guy down there named John Cameron Denton, who possibly is the nationwide leader of Adam Waffen. Caleb Cole, who has been charged in this uh, present case here in Washington, was living down with Cameron uh, Denton in Texas. So, you know, that's the real area where a lot of this planning probably took place was in Houston, Texas, or right outside Houston, a place called Conroe. Okay, great. All right. Well, I hope you're doing good. Okay. Uh, we'll have more for you yep. tonight on King 5 News, 5 and 630, and of course, on our 4 o'clock show. Meanwhile, live at the Federal Courthouse, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.